In this video, we're going to further explore the EasySense 2 file menu. The file menu gives you options to open, save, import, export, create a new lab, and print. In this version of the EasySense 2 software, we're using version 1.0.18. First, let's open a previously saved file. EasySense 2 files are saved with the ES2 file extension. Click on the File button and then Open. Now select a file from your device and then Open. You will now see the data presented as it was saved. To save a file, select Save from the File menu. Name your EasySense 2 file and click Save. We are now going to look at importing in the EasySense 2 software, either by file or device. The ability to import files has a few key benefits. Firstly, for users of our EasySense 1 software, you can import your original SSL files and save them in the new ES2 format. The most useful part of importing data from a file or device is when you might like to merge data from different sources and present them on the same graph or different graphs for your chosen layout. For instance, you might have a group of students exploring similar activities that produce different results. An example might be when you have Group A exploring the electrical characteristics of an LED and Group B exploring the characteristics of a diode and you want to analyse the data on the same graphs. For teachers, this is great for sharing the findings of each practical across the class. Let's look at how this is achieved. Firstly, select Import File from the File menu and import Electrical Characteristics LED. Now import the file Electrical Characteristics Diode. EasySense 2 will now merge the data on the same graph for you to further analyse. You can even split the data across multiple graphs if you wish. Choose a layout for two charts side by side and then set them as graphs from the chart type options. On the left graph, remove the series data for the diode and on the right graph, remove the series data for the LED. Now you have the data split across multiple charts. The same principle applies for importing from device. The only difference is the source of data. Another way to import data from files on desktop computers is to drag and drop a file directly onto the EasySense 2 software. Within the EasySense 2 software, you can also present your data as a table, showing the information as rows and columns, as you would expect to see in a spreadsheet application like Excel. In some cases, you may want to export that data as a CSV comma separated values file for use directly within your own spreadsheet application. Let's see this in action. From the file menu, select export CSV and name your file. Now select save. Open your spreadsheet application to view the recorded data. Before we look at the new lab options within the file menu, let's look at printing your graph for your own reporting. From the File menu, select Print to open the Print dialog. For the best results, choose Landscape from your printer's layout settings, and then select Print. We have now covered the main options for opening, saving, importing and printing files. The last item to cover is creating a new lab. By default, the EasySense software opens a blank canvas to start your data capture. However, there are times where you might like to clear the data on the screen and start the practical from new. As the name suggests, the new lab option will clear any existing data and present you with options for how you want to set up the software. Let's walk through this process. Firstly, select new lab from the file menu. You will now see a dialog box with a few options. If you have not yet connected a device, you can select the device here. Once you have your sensor set up, you can choose a starting layout template, such as a single graph, a graph and a table for titration practicals, or a bar chart and a table ready for timing practicals. Once you have set up your practical, simply click Start to begin the recording process. That completes our walkthrough of the EasySense 2 software's file menu.
If you want to see more videos like this, then please click the subscribe and like buttons. And don't forget to click the bell option to be notified. If you have any further questions, please contact us through our website at www.data.com. Hyphen harvest.co.uk